Now there's a little bit of a backstory behind this. I originally went to purchase this and it wasn't out in time so I had to buy the King's MK2 rooftop tent. Finally ended up leaking. I uh, upgraded to the MK3 and uh, that leaked as well. So guess what? Back into the Sabre rooftop tent which is the original rooftop tent that I wanted. So we're going to have a good look around to it today. Talk a little bit about the installation and uh, show you all around the tent. Let's get into it. Now we'll start underneath here the um, mounting uh, hardware. Uh, 230 actually give you uh, what seem to be stainless steel or some uh, silver brackets, uh, heavy duty brackets, they're quite good. A little bit disappointed they only gave you four and not six. Now obviously four is enough to mount this uh, solidly to any surface but I had six mounting points so I've gone with my original King's um, brackets there because I already had it uh, wide up as you can see I've got a little wire that's running along there and that helps me um, you know dry my towels and uh, that sort of stuff when I'm out camping so I've just gone with that and uh, it's mounted and fixed attached here at the side um, I was a bit worried initially but I did discover that there are some bolts through the uh, rails as well on the other side obviously so it's uh, mounted fairly solid I don't, can't imagine that's going to let go very uh, soon now all the hardware here you have to mount yourself um, the locks really good locks um, pretty solid locks they're not going to let go easy but they are a bit of a pain to move around um, because you have to take out this little rail here to be able to get to the bolts underneath bit of a pain but uh, once you've got them on there you don't have to muck around with them anymore um, some nice detail there branding um, as you can see there got the LST that refers to the um, I'll try and find the name for it and I'll uh, put it up there but basically that's the black coating that you get inside I'll show you that in a minute um, I do highly recommend if you've got um, if you're going to use a side entry definitely grab yourself a couple extra um, ladder mounts there because you do only get one set now if you've got the awning you've got a 270 awning like me then obviously that's going to create a bit of a problem so uh, keep those mounted to the side um, mounting the shell there uh, that's the original bracket there and that had to be re-drilled uh, to line them up but I have been told that there's some new brackets coming out to match this uh, rooftop tent now absolutely killer idea I'm really happy with that and uh, definitely sits a lot nicer uh, there's not much moving in that at all so it's uh, fairly solid and uh, I preferred that to ripping it into um, or putting some holes into my uh, trailer so at least now I can uh, move it around if I need to and um, as you can see it's got side entry entry on both sides uh, rooftop tent with the awning on the top um, the uh, roof on top it's definitely a, a much better design than the original uh, rooftop tent that I had the MK3 because uh, this actually is not going to have water pulling up on the top now probably the weakest point I'm guessing or I'm looking up there is uh, going to be those four rivets um, through the middle of it now unless they haven't sealed that properly but you know what a big downpour yesterday and we drove here through the rain so you know haven't seen any issues yet I can't imagine you're going to see any issues in a real hurry um, one of the biggest weak points on any uh, rooftop tent is the seal along the front all the fixtures along the front now this has got four solid very solid uh, hinges keeps it nice and firm and that seal just sits really nice at the front that's not moving anywhere of course it's got the lip on the inside as well so you're not going to have any um, problems with dust and uh, water getting in through that way now I did have an issue with uh, moving the um, the locks the closures at the front so they were previously on the side I've moved them in a bit and uh, main reason for that is so I can get I couldn't open them from the uh, side there because the awning and apparently they're done like that just to get them through transport it's a little bit cheaper to send it off because it cuts down on the overall length but um, what I found with that is moving them in the seal on the side probably doesn't sit as well there as it uh, probably should but look it's got that lip there so I can't imagine anything's going to get inside but my idea is uh, try and keep your uh, hinges or your locks as close to the edges as you can uh, the ladder's been really good um, nice and uh, comfy to uh, use now one thing uh, I had initially a bit of an issue with the ladder just kept pushing in and what I after reading the instructions it says open it from the bottom now a lot of people don't do that and it doesn't the ladder doesn't lock into place which is a bit of a pain because it just keeps moving keeps moving in and uh, can get a little bit dangerous so keep that in mind if you're opening your ladder definitely open it from the 
bottom first and uh, it'll lock into place and it just won't push its way in. Now moving up into the uh, rooftop tent itself, as you can see the uh, doors on the front actually open from the bottom up. I absolutely love these little ties, they are fantastic, look at those, they're actually really good. You can find those in the dark, you can pick them up so easily and I tell you what, it just makes opening, finding the zips and opening the uh, door such a breeze. I had a real pain with my uh, King's one and it was always a pain. Now going inside as you can see my lovely uh, camo sheets and uh, my camo uh, doona I mean. And that is a queen size doona and that fits um, quite nicely, probably could get away with a double in here to be honest. But, uh, and it might make it a little bit easier to close. Um, the sheet is actually a queen sheet and that doesn't quite fit to the uh, end. It's obviously a little bit longer, but you know what? Stays on and does the job. It comes with that pocket at the front, uh, at the top already, and uh, doesn't come with any of the lighting or anything like that, but you can see a couple of uh, zips down the back where the uh, wiring goes through and uh, one on each side. And then you've got those pockets as well. Now, what I like about those pockets, it's just a little thing, but, with the King's one, the pockets were built into the uh, actual tent. And that was an issue in that um, they would get cold and you put your phone or anything in there, the batteries would be dead by the morning. So I like the fact that they sit separate to the tent. It's a lot, nice little mesh pocket. Now the doors on the side open up from uh, the top. That's important because you can obviously um, keep, like I've done there, keep the, uh, you know, a bit of ventilation and uh, you're not going to get the rain in and you're not going to get condensation. Now, keep in mind, because this has got the black finish inside, it does get a lot darker and nicer inside. It's definitely nicer to sleep in, better insulation, but that means more condensation as well. So it's really important that you do keep some... Um, uh, ventilation in here just to keep the condensation down. It does actually uh, come underneath with a uh, condensation mat and that's standard which was uh, I thought very nice and um, that definitely uh, makes a difference. Looked at it this morning and uh, you know the whole it was quite cool this morning when I got up and uh, no dramas or moisture under there whatsoever and um, as for the fixing points, I'll show you there, there we go, got a bit of a fixing point there and um, that just shows you uh, how it's uh, attached to the rails as well for extra support. Just keep that little bag there, that's for me to chuck my shoes in uh, in the morning. I do got to get one of those uh, bags that you can hang out the front, but um, they didn't have them for this particular rooftop tent as yet, but apparently they are getting them in. But the bags, the shoe bags they have, but the shoe bags they have uh, don't actually fit this rooftop tent. Now you can see up there under the awning, there's actually a vent up the top there as well. That's uh, really handy uh, for reducing condensation as well, quite uh, necessary really. And uh, only downfall with that is, is you can't put the awning out of the way because water will come in, obviously. This rooftop tent does actually come with um, some roof racks as well and uh, I just haven't installed them because I haven't needed them but I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to put any uh, solar panels uh, or anything up there as well so um, but uh, good quality um, fully versatile uh, roof racks um, you can set up as you like and they give you a heap of extra rubber and stuff to um, run through it so you can set them up as however you like so there you go guys quick look around the rooftop tent overall I'm pretty happy with it I did sleep quite well last night. It is a little bit firm of a mattress. You can get an inner spring upgrade, but uh, I decided to stick with the original. I did actually put a 20 mil um, mattress topper on top of it. I did find a little bit hard to close, so I took that back out. Now, I have still got my woolen underlay, which makes a bit of a difference, uh, obviously, and a little bit warmer when you jump in at night. So I had a good night's sleep, no dramas. Probably uh, want to spend a good week in it to get a really good taste for the mattress. But uh, you know what, if you come back in about six months time, I'll give you another review. But uh, until then guys, thanks very much for joining me once again. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.